I got a box. So I'm going to do an unboxing. I like the fact this done manifest in the middle because that's just pure Terry Pratchett shit there. Yay! I'll try and do this one handed and carefully. Maybe I should have just slipped the blend of sellotape before I start the video. I don't care. It's exciting. I get to see together. Oh boy. Like extras. Oh. Was not expecting this. Oh wow. <laughs> oh wow. Death and Albert. Death and Albert advent calendar. I guess they had some left over after Christmas. That's adorable. Question is, do I eat the chocolate or do I just keep that intact forever? But it'll go weird. I have no idea. So, from Kid B. It's always a ton. Wow, I was not expecting it to be this big. I really was not. Let me get rid of the box. The definitive edition. Wow. The plastic's really split. The plastic's coming off anyway. Uh, oh boy. This weighs so much. See it's giant slip case. Oh boy. Look at that. <laughs> That's something Terry used to like to write occasionally when he signed books, actually. He would write burn this book on them. There was one particular book he used to do quite frequently. It might have been Good Omens he used to do that with when he signed it. <laughs> I've got a few signed by him. Obviously, this one is not signed by Terry because he's not with us anymore. But um, I did meet him in person once as well, and he was ever so lovely. But this is signed by Paul Kidby. Some people get editions that are also signed by Neil Gaiman. This is not one of them. I'm not that rich. I do have the smaller illustrated version as well, but this is like the definitive edition apparently. Let's see if I can find some more lovely illustrations for you. This is not easy doing one handed. I don't have something to rest my phone on. Oh look at the lovely shine on there as well. They've sort of done red chrome on the pages. Oh, I'm so happy. I'm trying to remember how many copies of Good Omens I have now. Um, of course, this is weird. They He obviously did the illustrations after they had cast Tennant and Sheen, but before they had cast the other actors and actresses. So that's who what he thought uh, Anathema was going to look like. So uh, some of the other, this is the same in the other illustrated version I've got, some of the illustrations don't match what you see in the series and some of them do. So there's the version of Newton Pulsifer. Um, Shadwell also will look as he did in other versions, you know, we have not got the right famine, uh, pollution there. Uh, famine is not going to be the same either. Aliens. So the illustration is the same as in my other version. This is their version of the horseman. I noticed that death looks... Uh, sorry, uh, fam famine looks very much like his version of um, the patrician in the Discworld books. If you've got enough kid be art, uh, you'll know what I mean. So here's the version of Shadwell and Madden Tracy. So out of the money, Martin Sheen looks as he does. 
this. Um, uh, my brain is not working at this time in the morning. I'm not feeling well, sorry. Agnes Nutter is who it was. Death, of course, is always death. Fabulous. So it shows that they obviously shot some of these scenes, you know, before this book was completed. Is the next in my large collection of Pratchett Healings. I'll show you some of them, a couple of them. I don't have many. Um, well, they're not all here. Some of them are in the rooms in the house. This is um, my chaos of Pratchett shelves. So, Kirby, Hogfather, uh, Pratchett Portfolio by Kidby, Hunter University Cutout Book, Discworld Imaginarium, Last Hero. Arthur Discworld, Complete Outlook, Pork, as an Norman. It shouldn't be on the Pratchett shelves, but there it is. A couple of um, good omens is this being a first edition, which I tracked down in a bookshop many years ago. Um, let's see, this is my first copy from 1991, exceedingly well read. Of course, we have the DVDs. I have lots of hardbacks up there. Uh, Feet of Clay is signed by Terry Pratchett. A few of the others are. Um, Shepherd's Crown, I believe, is signed. Um, I think that... No, it's I Shall Wear Midnight is signed when I met him. All my old paperbacks there. I've got a lot of the... Um, all of the maps. Um, I'm going to get Gracie out of the way. Myth of my way is based on a real horse. I used to look after this horse in America. Um, got the almanacs and such like there. The uh, cal uh, not calendars, the diaries. So yeah, that's some of my Pratchett nonsense. But I've run out of shelf space here now, so the rest of it is elsewhere. There we go.